Let's talk to our chief White House correspondent, John Carl, for more on this right now. And John, I was watching you in the briefing room uh, yesterday with Sarah Sanders talking about the president's 24 hour turnaround on whether or not he wanted a shutdown. He doesn't get his, his wall funding. He does get what he wants in defense. But this budget deal also just eviscerates the president's budget. Uh, absolutely. And it was mystifying, frankly, to see the president one day say that he would love to have a government shutdown. Uh, to push for his border wall because security is so important. And then literally while he was saying that, negotiators in the Senate, Democrat and Republican, banging out this deal that makes no reference whatsoever to the border wall. So, uh, George, I tried to find out what the president's position is on this, if it had flipped, as it apparently has, because he endorsed this budget deal. Uh, and the White House is not acknowledging uh, a flip. They do have one more chance to push for a shutdown. This sets the level of spending for the next two years, but by the end of March, they need to come up with the specifics of the spending. And if there is no border wall in the specifics that are outlined, he could once again threaten a uh, shutdown. And that's after the dreamer deadline as well. Meantime, John, these questions about a chief of staff, John Kelly, of course, this uh, Rob Porter incident is happening on his watch. And you're even seeing some in the president's orbit uh, taking shots at him. Uh, you are a lot of second guessing, uh, particularly outside uh, of, of Kelly's leadership here. People mystified as to how he could call Kelly a man of honor and integrity, even after these allegations were out, detailed allegations were out. And even yesterday uh, in the briefing room, you heard uh, Sarah Sanders say that he was not forced out. In other words, Kelly, even after all that was known, uh, according to the press secretary, could have stayed here and stayed in the job. Incredible. OK, John Carl, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.